Haryana government conniving with builders causing irreversible damage to Aravli, says Supreme Court. The Supreme Court came down heavily on the Haryana government for turning a blind eye to the ecological degradation of the Aravli hills over the years and conniving with real estate developers to allow them to exploit the protected zones for commercial gains. Notification soon to acquire 1,220 hectares for Jabbar Airport. The Uttar Pradesh government is likely to issue a notification soon to acquire land for the first phase of International Airport in Jaivar, as the district administration has received consent from a large number of landholders. The administration has received consent from 3,766 landowners, which will enable the government to acquire 1,138 hectare. Shriram Properties to launch IPO by March may raise up to Rs 1,500 crore. Private equity major TPG Capital and Starwood Capital-backed real estate developer Shriram Properties is planning to raise about Rs 1,500 crore through its initial public offering, say two persons familiar with the development. The South India-based developer's maiden share sale is expected to be concluded by March 2019. Seven bidders and raise for $2.3 billion PNB housing finance buyout. Seven bidders have submitted non-binding offers to acquire PNB Housing Finance in a deal estimated at around $2.3 billion. The list of suitors who submitted initial offers included Godrej, Bandhan Bank, Devan Housing Finance and a consortium led by GIC of Singapore and Blackstone. Home flipping in US dips to four-year low According to ATTOM Data Solution recently released quarter 2 2018 US home flipping report, homes flipped in the second quarter of 2018 yielded an average gross return on investment of 44.3%, down from 47.8% in the previous quarter, and down from 50% in quarter 2 2017 to the lowest average gross flipping ROI since quarter 3 2014.